Thanks for watching News 3. I'm Blaine Stewart. Here's what's topping our headlines. Right now, we're working to get some new information for you about an 11 year old boy shot in Portsmouth. This happened yesterday evening on Merrimack Drive, right off of South Street in the Swanson Homes neighborhood. We're told the boy is expected to survive. New information coming in about a man shot and killed by Norfolk police officers. This happened early Tuesday morning in the Larchmont neighborhood. Not far from an elementary school, police say they were there to serve a warrant on 41 year old Antonio Beekman on several charges in Virginia Beach. Officers say they identified themselves, but he started shooting at them. That is when police returned fire, ultimately killing him. The officers are now off of the street as state police have started an investigation at Rivers Casino hosting a job fair today ahead of its grand opening in Portsmouth. They're looking to hire 1300 employees today. The focus is on hospitality jobs, food and beverage workers. The sessions from four to eight tonight at the TCC campus in Portsmouth. There will be a couple of more of these over the summer to help fill those positions. The info is on WTKR.com right now. Let's check in with meteorologist Miles Henderson. He's in the first warning weather center taking a look at today's severe storm threat. Yeah, we do have the potential for storms and they're going to fire up this afternoon into this evening. That level one threat for most of us. Level two picks up as you head back closer to Richmond, Charlottesville and DC. Here's a look at the timeline for the rest of today. As we go late afternoon to evening, we'll jump up to that 60% chance. Watch out for those showers and storms that will move in from north to south. So moving from the peninsulas to the south side, then Carolina. So storms building in later this afternoon as we head to the upper 80s. Some leftover showers tomorrow morning, then a slow clearing trend. We'll struggle to hit 80 degrees tomorrow. A little dip in temperatures there, but we're back to the 80s for Friday with more sunshine, mid to upper 80s for this weekend. And then we'll keep an eye on another chance for showers and thunderstorms with a cold front Monday to Tuesday.